um, kick I wanted to show you. Right, so and I'm here's those clips. Go you could, uh, um, you know, uh, find clips of uh, your favorite clips among friends. Um, you know, oh, that feature was what we were trying to work on. You know, so you could share those clips with your friends. And it's pretty cool with kick. You could actually create a clip. Uh, you see something that you, um, they like on that streaming and stuff. Um, and then you could just create a, I think it's a um, 30 second to 60 second, up to, I think it's two minutes. Um, um, let me see, a short clip description. And you can name it and you can publish it. You can even move the little bracket right here to uh, for that clip. But yeah, this is just some of the things you could do with um, Kick. Um, and some of the things that, as a person, you could um, monetize that, um, that, you know, you could go in there and monetize this content for them. Like, if you have a big social media, you could use that clip in there. They need to put a watermark in that, um, in this video, just to make, just to own that video, just like how TikTok did it. You know, people say, how do um, TikTok get so popular? It's because of their watermark. Hey, you can't tell me that. It's not true. It's a watermark does give you, um, but it does, um, I don't know, things about the watermark, the whole psychology thing of it, but I believe how TikTok is uh, making um, very fast, it's because you can recognize it's TikTok through their watermark, it's not, it's not, no, you know, YouTube doesn't do that, um, Facebook doesn't do that. Uh, who does that? Um, I, I don't know what social media puts their watermark on your video. I mean, what, what does that mean? Like, you know, what does that mean when you put your watermark on that video? Like, it doesn't mean that uh, I own it or you own it or what? Like, you know, these rules are like we should figure out the Geneva Conventions for um, video.